Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice systems of equation? Solution from what we have here. Let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then subtract equation 2 from 1, that is equation 1 minus equation 2. And the left hand side, we have x, y plus x, then minus. Equation 2, we have xy plus y, then equals to, we have 32 minus 35 on the right hand side. Then from here, minus open this bracket, then we have xy plus x minus xy minus y, then equals to minus 3 from here. Then xy minus xy, this cancel each other. Then we are left with x minus y equals to minus 3. Then let's make x the subject here and take minus 1 to this side, become plus. So we have x now equals to y minus 3. And leave this as equation 3. The next step here from equation 2 which is x times y plus y equals to 35 here we can substitute equation 3 here in equation 2 that is here we have y minus 3 then times y plus y equals to 35 that is here, y open this bracket and this becomes y square minus 3y plus y equals to 35. That is minus 3y plus y, that's minus 2y. So we have y square minus 2y equals to 35. Then we can add one on both sides there. That is add one on this side and also add one on this side then this becomes y square minus 2y plus 1 equals to 36 on this side then what we have here same thing as y minus 1 all squared equals to 36 from here and when we take the square root on both sides, square root of y minus 1 squared, then equals to square root of 36 from here. That is here, square cancel square root. And we have y minus 1 equals to plus or minus 6 from here. Then we can take minus 1 to this side, then we have y equals to. 1 plus or minus 6 which implies we have two possible values of y the first one y1 equals to 1 plus 6 and the second one which is y2 equals to 1 minus 6 that is here we have y1 equals to 7 and on this side we have y2 equals to minus 5 then from equation 3, which is x equals to y minus 3, we can use the relation to get the corresponding value of x. That is here, yeah, x1 will be equals to y1 minus 3, which is 7 minus 3. So here yeah, we have x1 to be equals to 4. Then, the set of solutions here, which is x1, y1, here will be equals to 4, 7. Then, also on this side, we also get the second value of x, that is x2, using the same relation, and that will be y2 minus 3, 
Now here we have x2 equals to minus 8. Then the second set of solution here, which is x2, comma y2 here, will be equals to minus 8, comma minus 5. So here we have these two sets of solutions in this given problem. Then we can check to confirm if this will satisfy the given problem. From what we have here, we can substitute the solution into the first equation. That is from equation 1, which is xy plus x equals to 32. Here, using the first set of solution here, it implies we have 4 times 7 plus 4 is equals to 32 here. Then 4 times 7 here we have 28 plus 4 is equals to 32. And this is of course 32, which is equals to 32. Left hand side equals to right hand side. And hence this satisfy the equation 1. Then also we can substitute that as well in equation 2. That is equation 2 which will have us xy plus y equals to 35. xy here that's 4 times 7 plus 7 is equals to 35. And this is 28 plus 7 is equals to 35. And this is 35 which is equals to 35. Also left hand side equals to right hand side which implies this also satisfies the second equation. Now, for the second set of solution as well, we substitute that in equation 1, which is xy plus x equals to 32. Then here, we have minus 8 times minus 5, then plus x, which is minus 8, is it equals to 32 here? Then here, minus times minus will be plus, and 8 times 5, that's 40. Then plus times min minus, that's 8, minus 8. Is it equals to 32 here? So 40 minus 8, of course, that's 32, which is equals to 32. And this satisfies the first equation from here. Then also, from the second equation we have, which is xy plus y equals to 35. Then we substitute this, we have minus 8 times minus 5, then minus, that's plus minus 5, which will still be minus 5. Is it equals to 35 here? Then minus 8 times minus 5, that's 40. A minus 5 is equal to 35. The year 40 minus 5 of course that's 35, which is equal to 35. Left hand side also equals to the right hand side. And hence, this also satisfies the second equation. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.